in today's video, we're going to be comparing Post Planner and Buffer, focusing on pricing, features, and a quick demo of each. Both tools are very popular choices for social media scheduling and management, but they do cater to slightly different needs. Whether you're a small business, a content creator, or a social media manager, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each tool will help you decide which one is the best fit for you. And don't forget to stick around until the end where I'll give you a demo of each. Let's dive in. Before we dive into the specific comparisons, let's start off with a brief overview of both tools. Starting off with Post Planner. Post Planner is a social media scheduling tool designed to help users discover, plan, and post content across multiple social media platforms. It's particularly known for its content discovery feature, which helps users find and share high quality, engaging content easily. Post Planner also offers features like smart scheduling, content recycling, and detailed analytics. Now moving on to Buffer. Buffer is a well-established social media management tool that allows users to schedule posts, track performance, and manage multiple accounts across various platforms. Buffer is known for its simplicity, ease of use, and robust analytics. It also offers features like post scheduling, social media monitoring, and team collaboration. Now, let's break down the features of Post Planner and Buffer to see how they stack up against each other. Starting off with Post Planner features. Content discovery. One of Post Planner's standout features is its content discovery tool, which helps users find trending and evergreen content to share with their audience. This feature is particularly useful for keeping your social media channels active with high quality content. Smart scheduling. Post Planner suggests optimal posting times based on when your audience is most active, helping you to maximize engagement. Content recycling. Post Planner allows you to schedule evergreen content to be reposted regularly, ensuring that your best performing posts continue to reach new audiences. Analytics. Post Planner provides insights into post performance, audience engagement, and other key metrics to help you refine your social media strategy. Moving on to Buffer features. Post scheduling. Buffer allows users to schedule posts across multiple social media platforms with options for bulk uploading and queue management. Analytics and reporting. Buffer's analytics are robust, offering detailed insights into your social media performance performance, including engagement metrics, follower growth, and content reach. Buffer's reports are customizable and can be easily shared with your team or clients. Team collaboration. Buffer offers comprehensive team collaboration features, allowing multiple users to manage social media accounts, assign tasks, and approve posts before they go live. Social media monitoring. Buffer also includes social media monitoring tools that help you track brand mentions, keywords, and competitor activity, making it super easy to engage with your audience and stay on top of trends. Let's go over some key differences. While both tools offer scheduling and analytics, Post Planner excels in content discovery, making it ideal for users who need help finding and curating content. Buffer, on the other hand, is more feature rich in terms of analytics, team collaboration, and social media monitoring. This makes it better suited for larger teams or more complex social media strategies. Next up, let's compare the pricing plans of Post Planner and Buffer to help you understand which tool offers the best value for your needs. Starting off with Post Planner. Post Planner offers several pricing tiers based on the number of social media profiles that you need to manage and the features that you want. As you can see, the free plan has one social media account, one user, 15 scheduled posts, three daily posts per account, and 100 AI credits daily. You also do get email and chat support. Next up is the starter plan, which starts at $12 a month. Here you have three social media channels, one user, 150 scheduled posts, 12 daily posts per account, and 1,000 AI credits daily. Next up and most popular is the growth plan, which is $49 a month. You get 12 social accounts, two users, 1,000 scheduled posts, 18 daily posts per account, and 10,000 AI credits daily. Moving on to business, which is $79 a month. You get 25 social accounts, five users, 5,000 scheduled posts, and 24 daily posts per account. You also get 20,000 AI credits daily and email and chat support. 
If you want to get started with Post Planner, make sure you use our exclusive link, which is in the description. Buffer also offers a range of pricing plans, starting with a free plan that allows you to manage up to three social media accounts with basic features. Paid plans unlock more features, such as analytics, more social accounts, and additional users. Buffer's pricing is generally higher than Post Planner's, but it does include more comprehensive features suitable for larger teams with more complex needs. Starting off the free plan for individuals and businesses getting started with social media. You can connect up to three channels and you can use it for planning and publishing tools, landing page builder, and AI assistant. Next up is the essentials plan. This is for professionals who use publishing analytics and engagement tools. That starts at just $6 a month for one channel. This has all of the free features plus engagement tools and analytic reports. Next up is the team, and this is for teams who want unlimited users, collaboration, and reporting. This starts at $12 a month for one channel. This includes the essential features, unlimited team members and clients, and draft collaboration tools. Lastly is the agency plan for marketing agencies with 10 or more channels. This is $120 a month for 10 channels. This gets you all of the team features plus custom access and permissions and agency-friendly pricing. As you can see, as we increase the number of channels, the pricing also increases. Just as a side note, so you make sure you're picking the best plan for your needs. Cost benefit analysis. While Post Planner is generally more affordable, Buffer offers more robust features and integrations that might justify the higher price for businesses that need those capabilities. However, for smaller teams or individual users focused mainly on content scheduling and discovery, Post Planner may offer better value. If you want to check out Buffer, click the link in the description. Let's go ahead and get into the demos. Starting off with Post Planner. Once you click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. You want to go ahead and click Start free account. To connect all of your profiles, all you'll do is come to this settings feature and you go to social networks. Here you can connect Facebook, Instagram, business, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Twitter, X, and YouTube. So if you click on the top left, here is where you can manage your planned post. You can edit, delete, reorder, shuffle, or copy posts. You can also search and filter posts via the search box. You can create a single post here. What you'll want to do is choose the destination, add the post content, customize post by network if you use multiple, and create the post and go ahead and add it to the queue. Next up is content. Here is where you can get content for posts. You can curate from social media, create from AI, design new images, and so much more. You also can search quotes by keyword or author. You also can go ahead and look at popular content streams. You can look at digital marketing, best of Reddit, popular health and fitness, nature and wildlife, and other industries. You also can go ahead and search for post ideas. You can search by questions, fill in the blank, contests, social media, and so much more. You can even search keywords yourself. You can also look at streams, and streams are collections of content feeds from Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, and RSS created by other post planner users. You also can add content to your library just so you have it on hand. You also can favorite articles and they will appear here. And here is the studio. This is where you can create a new image or video. Now go ahead and go to post planning. This is where you can manage your weekly posting plans. The cool thing about Post Planner is you can create schedules based on the types of content that you want to post. So let's just go ahead and create a posting time and you can choose the time. Let's go ahead, we'll do 6 a.m., okay. And then you can select all of the days that you would like. You can do all days, weekdays, or just weekends. Let's go ahead and click weekdays and you'll save. Here you can see you will have all of the weekdays queued up. It will automatically post once you add content to the queue. You can also analyze and reuse your historical posts. So here you can see the top performing posts, choose the time period and sort by likes, shares, etc. You can also re-add posts to your queue one at a time or in bulk. To get started with Post Planner, go ahead and click our exclusive link in the description so you get the best price possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at Buffer. To get started with Buffer, click the link in the description. All you're gonna do is type in your email and click get started now. Once you're in here on the side, you can connect Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, threads, and even more. Let's go ahead to the create tab. 
This is a place for you to plan your content. You can save your ideas before converting them into posts. Brainstorm, plan ahead, and refine. You also can save inspiration online with one click. You'll want to add the Buffer browser extension to save ideas from the web. You can plan your content. So you can create a new idea and give it a title. You can add wording or you also can use the AI assistant. So the AI assistant will help you write any topics, revise content, or repurpose posts across networks. It will also understand the channel you're posting to and will tailor suggestions to that audience. All you have to do is type in what you want the post to be about and it will create a post for you. So here you can insert it and then you can drag and drop a file here and save idea or create post. You also can select which part of the journey that you're in. So you can do to do in progress or done. You also can create tags to further filter your ideas. So here you can do in progress done. You also can do a board or gallery view moving on to publish. So here is where you can see your schedule. Again, this is how to create a post. You can add the tags and then what you'll do, you can upload a photo and add any post. Okay, so all you have to do is add in what you want in the post, add the picture, and then you'll be able to schedule a draft, schedule your video, or share it now. You also have access to analytics here, and you can create different reports and share the data with your team. And here is the start page that you can create. And they have a bunch of templates that you can choose from. So which tool is the best fit for your needs. Starting off with Post Planner, if your primary focus is content discovery and you're looking for an affordable, user-friendly tool to manage social media scheduling, Post Planner is a great option. It's especially suitable for small businesses, content creators, and individuals who need a straightforward solution for keeping their social media channels active with engaging content. Now, Buffer. If you need more advanced features such as detailed analytics, team collaboration, and social media monitoring, Buffer is the better choice. It's ideal for larger teams, agencies, or businesses that require a more comprehensive social media management platform. Buffer's pricing is definitely higher, but the additional features may be worth the investment. Ultimately, the best tool for you will depend on your specific needs, budget, and the complexity of your social media strategy. If you're just starting out or managing social media on your own, Post Planner might be sufficient. To get started with either, go ahead and click our link in the description so you can get the best price possible. That wraps up today's video. We've taken a close look at Post Planner and Buffer, comparing their pricing, features, and overall functionality. Both tools offer valuable features for social media scheduling, but they cater to different needs and budgets. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, drop them below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.